Here's a comedy centric moment. But uh, it was it was just really great fun. <clears throat> and as time went on, I would give Howard little ideas. Um, the first the first actual note that I really remember that was just so classic. Uh, there's a guy named Al Rosenberg. Do you know who that is? Yeah, yeah, sure. Big Al Rosenberg. He wound up being on Fox in the morning and stuff right. like that. But he would come on the Stern Show once in a while as uh, the deaf wrestler. Uh, oh, Lou Ferrigno. Lou Ferrigno. And he can come on the show as, as Lou Ferrigno. And so he's sitting there and he's, he's sitting next to me. And in the early days when we're on in the afternoon, if there was a home Knicks game, the show instead of ending at eight, ended at seven. So the Knicks could start. And I'm sitting next to Rosenberg and we immediately were friends, but they, this might not have been the first time, but just like Fred, cause he's so brilliant. And Howard used to have to read liners, like little things about the commercials or something like that. And the show is just ending. So at seven o'clock, the Knicks game is about to start. So every guy, every basketball fan in the world, in the Tri-State area, is tuned to whether they like the Stern Show or not. They're tuned in, ready for the basketball game. And Lou Ferrigno's sitting next to me, and he's deaf. And Howard's reading, he goes, <laughs> and Coca-Cola said they would like you to make sure that to get ready for the basketball game, you have lots of Coca-Cola and snacks. And I wrote snacks, snatch, and underlined them both and put it in front of Lou, in front of Al. And he goes, what do you say, Howard? What are you talking about, Lou? You can't say that. You can't say snatch. <laughs> Lou, I said, and this is like, it was so... <laughs> And went back and forth, and I'm sure guys were driving off the road. There was this is 1982 or not 1983. No, huh? no, Lou. I said snacks. Dang, you can't say that, Howard. <laughs> oh my God! And that was, you know, to this day. I, sometimes people say I was listening when you know. <laughs>